Hey guys, this is Susan from Mellow Pine. I recently posted a video of us making a chalkboard kitchen tray that I've linked in the description below. We all love the chalkboard trays so much that we decided to make two more for me and my mom. But this time, we tried another design with two different finishes. So, let's get started. First, we took a 12 inch wide, 3 quarter inch thick board and marked the length of 24 inches for the tray. We cut out boards for both the trays with a circular saw. Once the boards were ready, we sanded the boards with a random marble sander all the way from 120 grit to 220 grit until it was super smooth for applying the oil finish. After both the boards were sanded and ready for finishing, we first started with the T-coil finish. We applied T-coil liberally on the first board. Notice that we didn't apply T-coil on the sanded part of the front side of the board because that part was meant to be painted using the chalkboard paint. We applied T-coil completely on the bottom side of the tray. For the second board, we applied Danish oil similar to how we applied the tea coil. 15 minutes after we applied the oil, we wiped down the excess oil from both the boards. Now it was time to do the painting. We marked an outline one and a half inches from the edge of the Danish oil board for fixing masking tape before doing the painting. Then we carefully fixed the masking tape along the outline of the Danish oil tray making sure that it was perfectly straight. After this, we repeated the same thing for the T-coil tray. Once both the boards were taped up, we started spray painting the T-coil board. We used Rust-Oleum chalkboard spray paint for the painting. After the painting, we removed the tape. It was so satisfying to peel away the tape to reveal the completed tray. After this, we applied paint on the Danish oil board as well, just like before, and removed the tape after painting. Then we went for fixing the tray handles for the T-coil board. We measured and marked the center of the handles and drilled the holes for them. Then we screwed the handles in with a screwdriver. Then we repeated the same steps for the Danish oil board as well. So this was a super easy but satisfying build and we hope you liked it. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we would love to hear your comments on the project.